Okay, so welcome back. Uh, this is actually part two, so I'm going to be spinning my wheels for just a few minutes here, allowing everybody else to join in. And um, the part one, I accidentally lost the feed, and so it will take just a few minutes for me to get it back. And my camera is being a bit odd right now, and so I have to hope that it uh, adjusts as well. So thank you for all those that are returning. Please forgive me for that faux pas. I was trying to adjust the camera and accidentally hit that one button that says you are finished. And so maybe Facebook should make something where it says, are you sure you want to finish? And then I can say, no, it was an accident. But unfortunately, we're wasting a little bit of time here letting everybody else find the live stream. So welcome, Janet. Welcome, Pat. Welcome, Athena. Welcome, Johnny. Uh, I know that you came in a little bit later, so thank you for finding me and returning to this Facebook live stream. And thank you for everyone else for your patience. Aloha, Jennifer. Thank you for returning, coming back. Welcome, Judas. And they say I'm sideways. Okay. I guess we'll be doing it like this today then. So thank you for returning today. This is how my Facebook's going to look because I'm just having technical difficulties. Have to get over it. Welcome, CJ. Welcome, Lisa Marie. Aloha, everybody else. So for those that are just new tuning in on part two, what are we talking about today? Today is special practices to awaken our light body by clearing the blockages in the three jaws. And as we clear blockages in these three spaces in our body, we are purifying our physical body, bringing energy to the area, clearing pain, suffering, and more. Then there are emotional blockages, which come up as worry, fear, anger, anxiety, depression. These can also be blessed and cleared. <clears throat> then there is also an additional area that can be cleared, which is our mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs. For a lot of people, they think that actually is stuck in our mind, but it's not true. It's actually stuck in our consciousness, and our consciousness is in our mental body, which can be in every area of our body, not just the brain. So one of the unique things about this practice that we'll be doing in a little while for the clearing of the three jaws is the ability to clear the physical, emotional, and mental blockages as much as we can clear during the practice. And what this allows us to do is have a, a, a far greater end result for our light body. Because the light body cannot form until these kinds of blockages have been cleared. And so thank you all for coming back and finding me. We've lost about seven or eight people there, but hopefully they will rejoin us soon. Uh, we've gained a few people who were <laughs> advised of this live stream now since I had to restart it. But thank you so much. And also welcome Master Avi. So in order to prepare for this practice, let us offer first uh, a teaching. And so Master Shah has brought this wisdom from the Eastern philosophies. And um, it's, it's, it is known by Qigong masters specifically. I learned it originally from my second Qigong master. Her name was Master Qin Yin. And that was actually a name given to her by her master, not her original name. And um, she taught it and she called it the Wang Ar Hong practice. And she used a different body power in doing it. She used actually different colors as well than what is taught through Master Sha. Uh, but the results seemed to be about the same. The one thing we did not do with that particular Qigong master is we did not do um, soul power. And the beautiful thing about Master Shaw and the wisdom that he's brought to humanity for over 20 years is in every single one of his information, his books, his videos, there is no part of it that is not uh, laced with the wisdom of soul and soul power. And it is uh, an intricate aspect of the four powers that will be used today in this practice. Now, uh, he refers to this practice to clear the three jowls. So what is a jowl? A jowl is a space in the body. There is the lower, the middle, and the upper jowl. 
<coughs> and each one of these jiao's has a direct association to our health and our well-being. It has an association not only to the physical, but as well as the emotional and mental, as was just indicated. And so, when we do this practice, we are employing the four powers. The four powers are body power, mind power, sound power, and soul power. And they each serve a purpose to raise our vibrational frequency. It has been uh, validated that frequencies can hurt us or bring value to our health and well-being. And so the reason we incorporate the four powers at the same time with this quite ancient practice is because we employ all four, especially employing the soul power, we can bring significant, significant benefit. I received a comment the, uh, yesterday from somebody that uh, ran across this live stream on one of the groups. They were not a Facebook friend. They just kind of, oh, let's see what this is. Let's see if it does anything for me. And you know me, I'm always chanting on my live streams. And so for some people, that's going to bring up some mindsets. But she said in her little note to me, she says, well, I decided to chant with you and said, what the heck? And she had, she said, I was shocked. My, uh, what I had asked for was resolved. My, my problem was gone. She says, I, I couldn't believe it. And of course, I take no credit for it. Why did it work? Because we always employ the four powers. When we employ sound power, mind power, creative visualization, and especially soul power, it works. And so it's a beautiful thing. And if it's not working, that means do it more. Okay. And so thank you all for returning. Thank you for finding my live stream again. Uh, it was my error. I decided to make an adjustment. And if you do it just the right way, you can hit that button that says you're complete. And then voila, we're on to part two. So thank you for returning and finding me. And also welcome Lolly. Welcome back, Susan. Welcome Luna. Uh, welcome uh, Pari. And everybody else, if I failed to mention you, please forgive me. So let us uh, talk about the three jowls now. The lower jowl is from the belly button down to the bottom of your torso. So this is an entire space in your body. Think about all of the aspects that are in this space. This could include the possibility of lower back pain. It definitely would include things like, um, like your, your, uh, anything in your lower abdomen. So that includes the, the uh, large and small intestine. It includes the, the uh, lower parts of some of your organs and systems. It also includes all of your genitalia. It includes the bladder area. It includes quite a bit uh, of the part of the body, including activity from all the way and all the way down to the rectum. And also it includes the first soul house and the second soul house and aspects of the third soul house. It also includes other sacred and uh, no longer secret energy centers that Master Shah has revealed to the world. One of those sacred energy centers uh, is the um, is the Hui Lu, which is uh, at the tip of your tailbone. That is a sacred energy center. Then there's the Hui Yin, which is an acupuncture point and a, and the and the point through which earth energies come in, and that's right uh, where your um, in between your your genitals and your anus in the perineum area that's a sacred energy point there's also the kun gong which is basically your oil lamp your life oil lamp and that is in the center of your body uh, between the, the second and third energy center so this lower jowl is a significant significant space now science has already validated that 99% uh, of everything they see under a microscope is space. Only about 1% is actually particles. Uh, that space, of course, is made up of smaller energy and matter that they cannot see. But what they can see, there's just void, a lot of void in between what they can see. And that is what also Master Shah would refer to as the Hundun. This is the emptiness space, the space from which everything is created. And so when we look at the space in our body, we know of these energy centers, we know of these chakras, we know of the organs and the systems and everything associated with this lower jowl. But we fail to recognize that the space holds a great deal of blockage area for us. So as a being made up of physical uh, material, 
We have an energy body, we have an emotional body, we have a mental body, and there are definitely blockages that occur in those other bodies, and they, those blockages reside in the spaces, okay? Our spiritual debt resides in the spaces. One of the highest blessings you can receive, and it is something that uh, uh, master teachers like myself, Master Abhi's watching, we have been blessed by Master Shah to offer blessings for, the, an example, the chakra system. Each one of the chakras can be cleared, light bulb protections around them, and you can have significant blessings. For your soul journey, it would take you several hundred lifetimes to achieve what we can offer in a very short period of time. The point in telling you this is, these areas, these spaces, these jows, hold a tremendous amount of potential blockages in them. If, for example, your lower jowl, since we're still talking about the lower jowl, has a lot of blockage in it, it could look like this, constant constipation. The, uh, the lower jowl in the first soul house has a lot of associations with addictions. So the inability to overcome that addiction to cigarettes, that addiction to alcohol, whatever that addiction might be, that's associated with, with heavy, heavy spiritual debt in the lower part of the body. It could also come up in the form of consistency of, for example, um, with women, urinary tract infections. That's very common. Uh, and this all has to do with insufficient energies down there. Um, herpes, uh, sexual diseases, insufficient energies in these areas because there's blockage in the lower jowl. Okay? Uh, gastrointestinal problems, diverticulitis, uh, uh, um, any of the uh, the labels that they put on all of the gastrointestinal problems, you know, Crohn's disease, all those. This isn't a solution necessarily, but your body does have the opportunity to heal itself if there is enough chi flowing through your body. It's certainly going to help you to bring about self-healing in a much better manner. And so when we clear the blockages in each of these jowls, these are some of the side benefits that can occur. The middle jowl is from your belly button up to the top of the diaphragm. The diaphragm is approximately just below the sternum. So when, when you put your, your, your finger on the rib cage there and it starts at the chest plate, so just below there is where the top of your diaphragm is. So from your belly button to there, this is your middle jowl. Now this area is a very, very, very busy place. Look at how many organs and systems you have in here. All the way to the back, you have the entire middle and some of the lower part of your back. You have your kidneys are directly back here. Not one, but two of them. You have um, the liver, you have the spleen, you have the stomach, you have the pancreas. You have upper parts of the gastrointestinal system. You have your gallbladder. Um, and you have a portion of your lungs that, that come to this area as well. So additionally, you have your third chakra that is, crosses into this area. And so this area, if there are blockages in there, you're getting significant impact of, of, of lack of chi flow to this area. There is associations of emotions to this area. The liver, which is on the right side of your rib cage, has associations with anger. The spleen on the left side of your rib cage has associations with worry. The kidneys in the back have associations with the emotion of fear. And so uh, these kinds of emotional body blockages are impacted as well. You might wonder, why can't I clear this consistency of fear that keeps coming up for me? It could be that your chi is not flowing through your body correctly because you're not spending sufficient time clearing the blockages in the three jowls. Now this is not something that, that I created. It's not something that Master Shah created or developed. This is ancient wisdom. This is 5,000 year old or more ancient wisdom that was brought forth from traditional Chinese medicine. The practices that we're going to do are uh, in, laced with modern technique that will bring you far superior results <clears throat> than the uh, ancient practices. And that's what makes this so, uh, so important for our health and well-being today. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so when we do practices for the middle jowl, you can have some significant benefits, including releasing of some of those emotional 
blockages. Um, some of the mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs that can result from depression, or excuse me, from fear, from um, uh, worry, from, in, from uh, 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 anger. Some of the mindsets could be, oh, you know, that's always going to be like that. Uh, you know, those can reside in the, um, in the liver. Mindsets do not reside in the brain. They reside all over the mental body, which can be associated with an emotion. So you can have mindsets of negativity locked into your liver. You can have mindsets of fear. Oh my God, I'm never going to be able to, to fly. Uh, 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 you know, fear of, of being in public, whatever it might be. These are mindsets that are locked into the areas of the kidneys and so forth. So the spaces that go between our bodies need to be vibrated, hence the four powers. Master Shah shares that, that when we chant, when we use the four powers correctly, we chant out loud, we chant silently, we chant slow, we chant fast. You've noticed that when I do my practices, I do all of the above. Why? Because we're vibrating the small spaces and the large spaces. The large spaces are in between the organs. The small spaces are in between the cells and the cell units. Very, very small. And each have a different vibrational frequency that moves them and causes them to rattle free. So the ability to uh, do this practice is, as you can start to see, can impact the significant areas of the body, uh, as well as the uh, emotional body and the mental body. <clears throat> then we have the upper jowl. The upper jowl is from the base of the sternum to the top of the head. The upper jowl includes the fourth chakra, fourth soul house, the fifth soul house, the sixth soul house, and uh, touching on the seventh soul house, even though it's above the head. Uh, this, this practice also impacts our lungs, our heart, our vision, our eyes. It impacts the, all of our brain, which is an organ. It impacts even our senses, our sense of smell, our sense of vision, our sense of hearing. Okay, uh, The sense of hearing is associated with the kidneys, so the middle jaw will impact that. The uh, sense of the eyes, vision, is associated with the liver. But the physical apparatus is up here. The, the uh, vibrational apparatus is in the middle jaw, but when we're vibrating the upper jaw, we're now clearing blockages at the physical level where the eyes are now working with the middle jaw, uh, where the liver gets blessings and clearing. The eyes up here are also getting blessing and clearing. The combination of the middle and upper jaw working together in this practice will assist both. Okay. So welcome to all the folks that are coming in a little late. We're focusing on the three jowls for developing the light body. And I have been explaining the uh, value of chanting for each of the spaces of the body. We're now talking about the upper jowl and the areas that are going to be impacted. And so we also have the physical heart and the message center. The message center, I just did a practice one hour before this live stream for uh, blessing your energy centers. and. When you do a practice for the message center, you are clearing the blockages between you and heaven. Our message center is the, the doorway, the gateway that heaven communicates to us through because we are innately the purest form of love, the innately the purest form of our creator. And so our heart center is that doorway. And But we, we have varying degrees of open or closed heart depending on... Um, do we, do we wake up in a bad mood? Did the spouse yell at us? Uh, how locked up are we on our mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs? Um, are we doing practices every day? You know, are we reacting with love and peace and harmony? Are we offering forgiveness? You know, how open is our heart center? So when we do this practice, it assists in clearing those blockages as well. The physical heart, how important is that, right? That's what they say on the death certificate. They don't say the condition you've had your whole life. They died from diverticulitis or they died from cancer. No, they say died from heart failure. That's what it says on the, on the death certificates. Um, so the heart is the last thing to go. And so a uh, very, very important part of the body to receive blessings for. Uh, this is actually, as you can tell, a very large space in the body. Uh, and so a great deal can happen in the upper back, the neck, the back of the head, all that space in your brain. When you clear the space through this practice, you could have significant improvement in brain uh, uh, activity and the ability to remember. Of course, you have to be consistent with the practice. Uh, you could also notice that headaches, things of that nature, diminish 
when you do the practice all three in a row, which we will do. We will chant for the lower, the middle, and the upper jowl. And when you do them, you will find that the chi will move. Now, there is a fourth jiao. It is called the Y jiao, W-A-I. Jiao means space. Y means large, large space. So this is the back of the body. So from the back of your head to the back of your neck, all the way across your shoulders, down in front of your spine, down to the torso. This entire back space is the largest space in the body. It was uh, revealed uh, and more in modern history, it, it, it may have been revealed before, but it was lost. And Master Guo, who was Master Sha's teacher, brought it back. And he received the knowledge, because he's very connected to heaven, he received the knowledge of this huge space in the back of the body. Because Master Guo, you know, he, he was known as the man who cured the incurables in China. The, uh, you know, hundreds of people every day would go through his compound, and many walked out successfully resolved. We don't say that word anymore because modern medicine gets very upset if you use that word cure. But over there, that's what he was doing. And he was using this kind of wisdom. And he discovered that's, that there was a lot of blockages because he, he had his very spiritual third eye. He could see very clearly. There was a lot of blockages in that space from the head down to the neck, down behind, uh, in front of the spine, from shoulder to shoulder down. And so he started doing practices to clear this area as well. And when he started doing that, he found a significant benefit to all of the souls that came to him to recover. And so the fourth jiao is called the Y jiao. Lower jiao, middle jiao, upper jiao, Y jiao. Now you may have come to a conclusion after this baseline of teaching that the, um, the nature of this practice is to move the chi, the life force energy that is perennially surrounding us. It is literally all around us in all time. We walk in it, we bathe in it, we breathe it, we live it, it's in us, it's in our blood, it's in our cells. Life force energy runs through us 100%. Why don't we feel 100% energy? Why aren't we blasted forth with life force energy? Because we are literally locked up in this three-dimensional world in our karma, in our spiritual debt, in this physical being, this physical body, and it's carrying with it physical, emotional, mental blockages, all of it inhibiting us from developing our light body. And so the purpose of this practice is to move that life force energy that's all around us, move it through us, and slowly it will start to circulate and slowly it will move out to the debris. Many of you have heard before, I give you the visual, if you have a, a bottle of water and the mud is settled in the bottom, you start pouring in water in the top, the mud starts stirring up but you keep pouring in that water and the mud becomes very stirred up and pretty soon that dirty water starts clearing out the top. You keep pouring it in, all that's left is clean water. Same exact result. The, the clean water is all the life force energy that's all around us all the time. This practice is like turning on the faucet. The more you do it, the cleaner the water becomes, the more the chi flows in your body, the, the better the release of the physical, emotional, mental blockages and the greater possibility of maintaining the optimal health and wellness. All right, you ready to do it? Okay, so the practice is best done standing up, since that's not something that I can do, uh, given the nature of this live stream, you will be doing the standing up. Now, there is a body power. There are four powers, as you know, there is body power, mind power, sound power, and soul power. The body power uh, is dependent upon your health condition. If you have anything going on in the upper part of your body, that means from here up. So if you have um, uh, glaucoma, you have uh, stroke conditions, uh, brain conditions, if you have um, uh, high blood pressure, okay, then you do not put this upper hand up like this, okay? You do not do that. You would, uh, you would turn it downward like this. If you have no major health issues like the ones mentioned, it's okay to have this upper hand up like this because what we're doing is we're moving the chi up through the body back down in front of the, uh, 
other soul houses and then we're going to go up through the body and then back down through the Y jiao to the base up through the body back down through the Y jiao down to the base so that's where the energy is flowing but we're not going to be visualizing that directly we'll see it as a general side effect of what's happening okay we're actually going to have a different visualization so where do the palms go the first one goes approximately uh, and about the belly button okay so palms up one of them about the belly button the second one about five or six inches above that below the sternum I'm not up here where I'm uncomfortable I'm a couple inches below that okay it's about five or six inches above the other palm in my case I don't have any major health issues so both palms are up if anyone has had a stroke high blood pressure glaucoma uh, anything happening with the brain area turn the upper palm downwards so you're basically like this okay if you have any of those health conditions all right so I uh, hopefully that's clear now the sound power will be Wong W E N G second sound power will be R R repeat after me R R the third sound power will be Hong H O N G repeat Hong Hong okay now <clears throat> the sound power for the upper jaw is Wong R the lower jaw is Hong so when we're chanting the this area is vibrating this area is vibrating and the lower jaw is vibrating okay but the what's happening is all of the chi is moving at that point heaven and earth will then uh, uh, come in more rapidly and the chi will start moving and the blessings will occur so that is going to be the sound power Wong R Hong now we will chant it in one breath I'll give you an example Wong R Hong. and then we take a deep breath in and repeat and that's how we'll do it I'm going to do this for about 10 minutes okay so it's important that if you get winded just relax and breathe I will try to to choose the length of breath that works for everybody <clears throat> I have the tendency to be able to take a nice deep breath not everybody can do that so I will do a middle uh, a middle level and uh, do it shorter if you need to perfectly okay all right now about the middle of this practice once you're practiced I'm going to add creative visualization for now just see golden light through your whole body all right the last part is soul power so let us connect <clears throat> to the soul power repeat after me dear the soul of my upper middle and lower jaw and my Y jaw the spaces in my body I love you you have the power to clear blockages in the spaces in my body do a good job Thank you. Dear the soul of the ancient mantra Wong R Hong. I appreciate you so much. As I chant your mantra, could you please bless me to clear the blockages in my body? Thank you. Dear heaven, all the beings of light who have come, my individual heavens team, all the guides, angels, and saints angels healing angels and archangels I love you honor you deeply respect you could you please bless me during this practice in the most appropriate way I am very grateful thank you so this is soul power connecting to our inner soul connecting to the soul of the mantra connecting to the soul of the beings of light this is called soul power and that's what separates us from the ancient practices they did not know what it was at that time so it's significantly improved so if you're not already standing up unless it's very uncomfortable best to stand up when you do this practice place your hands as appropriate per the teaching my palm will be up uh, everybody else put it down if that's what is appropriate for you <clears throat> let us begin close your eyes let us begin Whoa.
think about some area that you have a blockage in. It could be you're feeling very exhausted. It could be you have a headache. It could be a pain in a certain part of your body. It could be you're in a significant emotional place. Choose whatever it is and just pay attention at the end if it's released. Let us continue. Whoa. keep your eyes closed <clears throat> now I want you to add creative visualization when you say Wong in the upper part of your body see beautiful radiant red light when you chant the next part are see the light go to the center of your body and it's beautiful white light and when you chant ho see blue light in the lower part of your body so wong ar hong red white blue okay do your best to visualize that <clears throat> move into a deep state of this mantra i will not stop for a while go into a very deep place Whoa.
I will chant for you. You chant with me silently, allowing yourself to catch your breath. Continue to visualize. Om to chant out loud again. attention to your emptiness do you feel lighter where do you feel lighter do you feel heat do you feel vibration are your ears ringing check in with the body part or condition from the beginning how is it now is it better is the discomfort decreased or gone. So please share. <clears throat> Master Shah uh, teaches the wisdom that has been brought down through the ages that the um, the three jows are rivers that lead to the ocean. The ocean is the Y jow that runs along the back. And, and what is happening is it is moving the chi through all of our organs, all of our systems, all the small spaces, all of the big spaces are getting vibrated. We did out loud chanting. We did silent chanting, large spaces, small spaces. And this is an ancient practice. <clears throat> uh, like I said, well over 5,000 years. 
but with the addition of the soul power when we ask all the beings of light to come to serve when we uh, invoke the soul of the mantra and we ask the, our, our jows to, um, to awaken, to clear themselves, we can find some significant results. And so I'm going to read some of the comments. Kristen Strachan says, awesome, yes, emptiness and a little dizzy. Yeah, me too. I was very light upstairs here and a little lofty. Uh, welcome, Ford. Uh, glad to see you here. If you didn't uh, get to see the whole beginning, there's a lot of wisdom before we did the practice. Hope you can watch the live stream again. It does record and is available. And at the end of this, uh, you can always hit subscribe and be made available when we go live. Uh, Janet says, ears ring. The red, white, and blue turn to purple at the end. Great. Susan says, awesome. I'm sweating, vibrating, and even my teeth were chattering. This is actually one of the great... <coughs> um, and Carol says, feet released, maybe it's fear, I'm not sure, but feet released. One of the great features about this kind of a practice is it's very good to teach the elderly and the children. Um, it's very simple, no education necessary. Just remember that with the elderly especially, that their palms need to be facing each other. Okay, it's very important in the body power to get that part correct, okay? Um, but the children for the most part, unless they have some significant uh, blockages going on then, then that's okay but it's very easy to teach them this <clears throat> and if you do this practice with them let's say five minutes twice a day you could be very surprised at the benefits um, to, to them to their energy many people that are elderly have very low energy we have done this practice <clears throat> uh, one of the one of our students in Honolulu uh, t took this this practice only to the military to the um, to the uh, um, um, uh, there's a certain branch but um, and 30 40 50 people and he stands up and he gets them to stand up and does about five to ten minutes of this and you know military right they're up in their head they're very, a lot of stress um, they're all just calm and relaxed and smiling and feeling much better because as indicated in the beginning it clears physical emotional and mental blockages in our spaces. That's what Jiao means, space. So these three Jiao's and the Wai Jiao are basically getting flushed. The three rivers lead to the ocean. Uh, and so the rivers have debris in them. They have uh, a trash. They have energetic blockages. They have karma in them. When we do the practice, the vibrational frequencies, the soul power that we bring in shifts that blockages through and can assist us. This was only about 10 minutes. <clears throat> so you can imagine, <clears throat> excuse me, if you did that a couple times a day, this is better than a cup of coffee, I can tell you that. And if you do it consistently, you will definitely get some positive benefits. And so Lali says she feels more clear. CJ says she feels lighter now at her back because she was feeling it heavy lately, very warm and sweating. Yeah, I'm, I'm just sweating here. Um, my shoulders are less tense, says Pat, free and pain released. Great. Yeah, Pat, you know, she's a, a school teacher for the younger children over in the, um, in the Caribbean islands. A lot of stress when you're working with children. Um, and so it's great to have the, those tensions released. And Belinda, we'll watch again. Great. Ilona, very powerful side of the left brain. Uh, right side of the brain was vibrating. Great. Waking up some of the creative side. Okay. So... Uh, this was truly a powerful practice. I'm very honored to have brought it to you. Um, I want to remind you of yesterday's uh, offer and the day before's offer for a crown chakra blessing. The day before, it was for aligning uh, your shen qin jing, the way you look at life, to the, the way your soul looks at life, the way heaven looks at life. It was a blessing specifically to... Uh, allow you to see life through spiritual eyes so that you don't react and respond from the human level so that you see things from that higher perspective that crown chakra blessing is still available it's only a hundred and then yesterday there was a blessing uh, also crown chakra blessing being made available for releasing the debris 
of a relationship trauma. Most of us do carry a relationship trauma and it, and it keeps us from having a healthy or better relationship moving forward. And so there's a crown chakra blessing available for that as well. You can contact me through my Facebook live stream, uh, through the message area of Facebook, or go to a soul healer at yahoo.com, or even through my Facebook page <clears throat> at the bottom of my, um, excuse me, of my, um, my website, asoulhealer.com is my phone number and email. Just go to the bottom of the first page, it's listed right there. So I'm happy to serve you. I want to thank all of you for coming. Thank you for sharing. If you are new and you want to know when I go live, hit the subscribe button at the end after I finish the video and you'll have the opportunity to subscribe. Uh, thank you for putting in any groups that you may belong to. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you to all the beings of light who have come to serve at this time. I'll return tomorrow, same time, same place. And last minute calling, I'm doing a, a workshop this weekend with Master Patrick at Master Shaw's Tao Healing Center, and it's on, on understanding the deeper wisdom of the five elements. It's an introductory class, so if you're unfamiliar with the five elements and how they are related to our health and well-being, it could be very beneficial. It's only like $25. So um, if you don't know how to go to that, I believe Kristen will probably put in a link pretty soon here. She's so efficient with this stuff. Uh, then you can also contact me and I'll get you the link for that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Bye-bye, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.